I was going to just talk through this video, but I was pointed to another video showing <laughs> or claiming to say that super zoom cameras are better than telescopes. So I'm just going to let things fly and not talk. Set up for Sydney, Australia, 34 seven. There we go. Dislike. Um, you don't need a telescope. You just need a decent zoom lens camera. And my footage on my channel is, is outstanding. It's um, much more powerful than Galileo's telescope. So does that make me much more intelligent and better than <laughs> Galileo? Well, you know, no, it doesn't. I'm just a guy with a, a zoom lens camera that can film the night sky. Think thick stone we're spinning underneath. That explains why when you go further out towards the edge, you struggle to see comedy in the middle. That's, that's bloody simple, and that's why the um, Big Dipper's upside down because you've just walked underneath it, walked further away, and turned round. It's just simple, simple stuff. These telescopes <laughs> cost thousands of pounds, and they're rubbish. Sorry to disappoint anybody that's just gone and bought one. I did have a telescope when I first started this stuff. I thankfully managed to sell it for 80 quid uh, on Gumtree. Um, yeah, they're just a joke. I mean, a lot of these ones have got CGI software built into them. Um, don't waste your time, just buy a decent zoom lens camera. A Wolfie 6020 Flat Earth Khan Telescope. We don't need to, we don't, we're not interested in that. You don't. I'll do a video on how simplistic the night sky is, and it's just, it's. It's for dummies. An idiot can look at the night sky and see stuff. You know, you, you overcomplicate things with all this crap and all these mounts and this and that. My camera does the job. That's all anyone ever needs to do. Buy a decent zoom lens camera. Oh, it's still not completely dark yet, but I'm getting more and more uh, contrast available without the skylight intruding so much. And uh, I think I've got some pretty good pictures. I'm, like, I'm currently on ISO 320 at 1 15th of a second even though I'm in video mode, obviously. But, uh, well, let's see what we've got. It's, uh, a nice looking, uh, surface details near the Terminator. Getting a tad blown out on the lit side. But, yeah, not terribly interesting detail there, or is there? There's a simple way to find out, and that's just to reduce the shutter speed. Pardon the camera shake. Whoops, that's increasing it. 30th of a second. One sixtieth of a second. I'm past two stops underexposed now. And let's go to one twenty five. And I think that's as far as I should go. So let's go back to some decent exposure. I like to be about one under for the moon because like I said it's a dark object and the camera is attempting to get an 18 percent gray card perfectly exposed. That's just how the meter works. But the moon is more like a seven percent so one stop uh, still gives you a little bit brighter than the actual surface of the moon. However, 
it just looks better on film or video. So, <laughs> you know, that's some artistic license there with the exposure metering. So let's proceed down. I want to move the moon up a bit. And there's really nice detail there. And here the camera meter exposure, you know, exposure meter is lying to me because now I've got a bunch of sky in the image. It says I'm more than two stops underexposed, not realizing that it's the moon I want to be properly exposed, not black sky. Actually, it's still a dark blue. I can still see my hands and stuff. It's not yet dark. Get long twilight periods in the summer. Anyway, there's so many people bashing this stuff because they've got a, there's much more going on. Most of these guys uh, are trying to cover up and hide what, where we really are, and that's why there's so many people bashing the flat earth. <laughs>